Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm coming to you completely makeup free and also sunscreen free, if you can believe that, because I usually wear tinted sunscreen and that adds a little layer of color to my skin. And the reason I wanted to be completely makeup and tint free today is because we are gonna talk about age spots on the skin and how to get rid of them. So I can't tell you how disappointed I am when I click on a video or read a article on how to get rid of dark spots on the skin and all it tells me is to wear sunscreen and prevent. And while that is a really, really important message that of course I tell you guys all the time and that I love, it doesn't help those of us who did the sun damage back in our younger years and we can't prevent them. It's too late to do any prevention. We have them and we wanna know how to get rid of them. So that's what I'm gonna share with you in today's video because as a longtime sun worshiper, I used to have a face full of spots freckles, discolorations, I had them across my nose, across my cheeks, definitely had the big car driver's side one. And I've been able to get rid of them over the past nine years, sharing that journey with you here on YouTube. I always do videos on everything to show you what my results are. So if you followed me for the last nine years, you've been able to see the incremental steps of getting rid of all the discolorations on my face so that today I feel like my skin looks so much better now than it did nine years ago. I mean, and I am almost 10 years older. So in today's video, we're gonna cover in-office procedures. We're gonna cover at-home gadgets that you can use. We're gonna cover at-home topical skincare that you can use, whether it's prescription or over-the-counter. And we're also gonna cover prevention because while it bugs me that people say just prevent, 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 even if you are late coming to get rid of your age spots, prevention is still key going forward to keep from getting new ones once you've gotten rid of the old ones, okay? So prevention will be part of this, but we'll talk about that a little later in the video. But I wanted to kind of lay out the whole broad spectrum of what there was to be done about spots in one place so that you could find it all, you can make decisions for yourself, um, on what you wanted to do about it, depending on your budget, depending on what types of spots you have, how quickly you wanna see results. So let's start first with the heavy hitters. These are the in-office procedures, and I'll tell you which ones I've tried, which ones I really like, and what some of the results can be. So if you have mild discolorations, you could use something like an IPL or a BBL treatment. IPL stands for intense pulsed light, and BBL stands for broadband light. So these are kind of the lunchtime treatments, the ones that you can go and get, nobody will know you had it done, and then you can go about your life. IPL and BBL are gonna be around the same price point. They usually cost a couple hundred dollars per treatment, and your provider will usually recommend a series of two to four to six, depending on your level of sun damage. Now these lights are supposed to target brown and red discolorations in your skin. One of the first treatments I had done, and actually the video that kind of launched my channel was I had an IPL, Intense Pulse Light, treatment done. I actually bought a series of four. I can link that video right up here along with my procedures playlist. So if you wanna look at any of these things and see the whole video, you can see you know what I, really thought of it and what it actually looked like. I paid $600 for a package of four. So I paid for three, one was free. I actually thought that I got the best results with the first one and the second, third, and fourth. I didn't see as much of a return on investment with those and they also hurt progressively more. Some of these procedures can be painful, but they do have ways to mitigate the pain. There's numbing gel. There is usually a little bit of pain afterwards. So when you leave an IPL, treatment or a BBL treatment, you'll look like you have a little bit of a sunburn, your skin may feel red and hot, but that usually goes away within a couple of hours. As I said, I was really happy with the first treatment. I thought it worked really well, and that was kind of the first step in getting rid of some of my spots, but it doesn't completely get rid of them. Looking back on it, I feel like that kind of treatment is definitely the kind of thing that is better for someone who is younger, who doesn't have as much sun damage as me. I could have probably saved that $600 and put it towards something more powerful. Who I think is the best candidate 
for IPL or BBL is someone who is a little bit younger and who can do it maybe once or twice a year. So if you haven't done a ton of sun damage, you're not you know older and you don't have years and years of sun damage to get rid of, then I think those are appropriate. You could probably do a couple a year, wear your sunscreen every day and probably never need more of the big guns, the heavy hitter light treatments. So I had that IPL treatment done in 2012. That was the first year that I started my channel. Then four years later in 2016, I went in for a Fraxel dual laser treatment. So this is gonna be like the next step up from an IPL. I had this treatment done at my dermatologist's office. So the Fraxel dual treatment that she gave me was a one hour treatment. She used only the side of the laser, the wavelength that treats the brown spots. And so I did have really good results with that. With that one, it does hurt, but not enough that I needed anything more than the numbing gel. Right after the treatment, my face swelled up. It was red, it was hot. I felt like I had a sunburn. It stayed that way the entire night. I could have gone to work the next day, but within like two or three days, you start seeing the brown crusties come up. And by the fourth day, your skin is absolutely raining off dead skin, brown skin, all this stuff is sloughing off. Just as far as being like a habit and then go back to work, you probably couldn't do that. So I had one of these treatments on my face and I really loved the thing. I couldn't believe the difference in the before and after pictures. This is the one that really helped to budge and get rid of more of my discoloration. So going into it, I still had a lot of the freckling and discolorations across my nose and my age spots were still pretty big. I had a lot of discoloration around my hairline, around my jawline still. And this was a treatment that I felt really, really helped that a lot. Back when I had this done in 2016, it was $1,500 just for my face. So you're stepping up the cost substantially from something that costs maybe two or three hundred dollars for one for one treatment to something that costs fifteen hundred dollars for one treatment so that's like five times the price but it definitely gave five times the results so this i would say is definitely for people who have years and years and years of sun damage those age spots are bigger they're really deep into the skin they're not going to be really treated with something more minor like an IPL or a BBL. All right, so those are the light treatments that you can get done in office. Another treatment that you can get done in office if you don't have brown spots all over your face like I did, let's say you just have one brown spot that you wanna get rid of, you can have your dermatologist treat it with liquid nitrogen. That freezes the skin and then it will turn black and it will slough off. Now using this is most effective on shallow spots because if they go too deep with it, they can leave a scar and you don't want that on your face where you're trying to remove a brown spot. You don't want it to be replaced with a pink spot or a white spot. I go in for my yearly skin check with my derm and if there's a spot like on my leg or on my face, I'll just be like, ooh, can you hit this spot with liquid nitrogen? And she's happy to do it just as part of it. She doesn't charge me extra. But I've recommended this to friends and some of them are like, hey, my derm charged me extra for that. And you know, I mean, whoever your dermatologist is, they're gonna decide what their fee structure is, what they charge you extra for, what your insurance will pay for or not. Um, I'd say with that, you can expect your spot to be completely gone within five to seven days. Couple other procedures that you can get that I have not had done are microdermabrasion and chemical peels. Now these can be done in a med spa or in a dermatologist's office. Um, these can help with the spots and they're much less expensive than like uh, light based treatments. So you might wanna look at one of those. A lot of times they'll combine those two and that can be very effective. In one study, patients who had microdermabrasion done, about 40% of them had reduction in their age spots. And then they did a study combining it with chemical peels. And at the end of that, they found out that that the combination was slightly more effective. But in another study, when comparing chemical peels to cryotherapy, which is the liquid nitrogen freezing treatment, they found that liquid nitrogen was more effective at removing age spots than a chemical peel, but that the healing process was faster with a chemical peel. All right, so let's switch gears from removing your brown spots, which is what the in-office treatments can do, to fading your brown spots, which is what the at-home treatments can do. So you have to have kind of different expectations of 
what you can do at home with topicals or with at-home gadgets than you would with in-office procedures. That's why there's the price difference. That's why they're in the hands of a medical professional who's trained. Not that at-home treatments don't have their place. They definitely do. I definitely love them. And I've seen the changes in my skin over time. And even if they help just a little bit more, for me, it's enough to make it worthwhile to use them. So one of the best things that I've used at home for reducing my discolorations on my skin is an LED red light therapy mask. Now you can get LED red light therapy in a doctor's office. They do have professional light arrays. They're made by a company called Omnilux. And if you go to your dermatologist's office, you can get professional light treatments. These are gonna be stronger and they are gonna be more effective, but they're not going to erase your dark spots like a laser treatment is going to. It's more of a subtle thing for people who have much less discoloration. But the Omnilux company has come out with an at-home device now that you can use, and it is this flexible Omnilux face mask. So I started using LED red light therapy about a year and a half ago. I first started out with a different mask from this one from EcoFace, and I love that mask as well. And I had great results with both masks. I'm using the Omnilux now just because it's a little bit more comfortable, it fits tighter to the skin, and the wavelengths on this one are closer to what are used in the professional treatments because it's made by the Omnilux company. So you just turn it on by pressing this button and it has a bunch of red lights on the inside. Basically, you strap this onto your face and you do a red light treatment. And I do have a 10% off code with Omnilux, which I'll put in the info box below the video. I did do videos on the first mask that I used, the EcoFace, and also on the Omnilux mask showing before and afters. And I feel like with both of them, I had reductions in my age spots. Like just after a month of using either of these masks, I could see a difference in my skin. I could see a reduction in the redness. I could see a reduction in some of the brown spots and things. I feel like my pores were a little bit refined, which is a little bit off topic for this video, but I just felt like within a month I could see the changes with this. So they both worked really, really well. So the heavy hitters in reducing age spots as far as topical are prescription. So some of the main ingredients that you're gonna to wanna to use are prescription Retin-A, which is tretinoin, and also hydroquinone. Tretinoin just helps your skin in so many different ways. It helps your skin to generate collagen. It helps to inhibit the processes that cause discolorations on the surface of the skin. It also helps to exfoliate your skin, so that helps to turn over the dead skin cells, which often will contain those dark spots. So the more that your skin is exfoliated and turned over, the brighter it will look. So you can get tretinoin a number of different ways. You can get a prescription from your doctor and have it filled at your local pharmacy. This is the one that I most recently used up. It's my 0.1% tretinoin cream. This is the generic. I use this on my chest and the backs of my hands, and I do find that I have pretty good results at reducing the age spots with this, taking into account that I did have two Fraxel dual laser treatments on my chest, I've never had any kind of light treatments on my hands, and I do find that this definitely keeps my hands um, from getting new age spots and is pretty effective at fading the ones that I did have. Another way to get your tretinoin is with Curology. Um, I'm actually an ambassador for, for Curology, and normally this segment would be sponsored, but <laughs> It's not. This is a great way to get your tretinoin. You get it delivered to your door and you get a custom mix just for you. So mine is tretinoin at 0.12%, azelaic acid at 5%, and clindamycin at 1%. So in here, it's really the tretinoin that is the magic ingredient, although the other two definitely have been magical for my skin, but the clindamycin is for acne, the azelaic acid is more for redness in the skin, but the tretinoin is the one that we're here to talk about today. Now, the other ingredient that is prescription that's really great for fading age spots is hydroquinone. And just like with your tretinoin, you can get a prescription from your doctor for hydroquinone. Studies have been done in the past on you know, tretinoin, plain tretinoin versus tretinoin plus hydroquinone at reducing spots. And it's really the combination of tretinoin plus hydroquinone that is the gold standard of reducing age spots and discolorations 
in the skin. And while you can't get that with Curology, you can get it with their new sister company that's called Agency. So Agency is gonna be geared more towards mature people who have discolorations and wrinkles and things like that, whereas Curology was more for people with acne. I have only used Curology, I haven't used Agency. So if you've been using Curology and you've been trying to fade your age spots and you wanna take it up a notch to the next level, you could try switching over to Agency and seeing if the addition of hydroquinone could help your age spots to fade a little bit faster. Then if you don't wanna go with prescription, you can get both ingredients over the counter. The over the counter retinoid that I would recommend is different gel. This one has been shown to reduce age spots in the skin and to be a tyrosinase inhibitor so that your skin won't produce as much melanin. So that's a good one to get. You can get over-the-counter hydroquinone as well in 2% concentration and I'll link some products below the video that contain that. Then a couple of other over-the-counter ingredients that you can look for that will definitely help because I think it takes a village, especially with topical. I think the more topical ingredients that you throw at your discolorations the better the success you will have at getting rid of them so I would also add in if you haven't already some form of alpha hydroxy acid alpha hydroxy acids are exfoliators and that exfoliation will help to brighten the skin and will help to get those discolored cells off the surface and so it can make them appear lighter and brighter. So the one I use is the Ordinary's Lactic Acid 10%. Then another ingredient that I love for uh, discolorations is vitamin C serum. This is the one I use along with the Mail of the Glow Maker, but this one is the Timeless 20% L ascorbic acid vitamin C serum. L ascorbic acid fights free radicals in your skin. It's an antioxidant and it helps with discolorations. Then another ingredient that's really effective at brightening the skin and reducing discolorations is niacinamide. Now there are some dedicated niacinamide serums that you can buy if you just wanna add in that ingredient to your skincare. Paula's Choice makes a niacinamide booster. I would not go for the 10 or 20% boosters. I would go for something around 5%. Studies have shown that anything above 5% can actually be irritating to the skin. Where I get my niacinamide is just in my regular moisturizer lotion. I use the CeraVe PM facial hydrating lotion in the morning and I use the Olay Regenerist Night Recovery Cream. So these guys both have niacinamide. It's listed high on the ingredient label so it's in there probably in about 5% in both of these and these are just great creams. I use this one at night. I use this one in the morning. So whether you're choosing to treat your age spots and hyperpigmentation with an in-office procedure or at-home topicals, the number one thing to do to maintain what you're doing and to help those ingredients work in your skin is to use sunscreen every single day. It is so important to protect your skin from getting future sun damage and from encouraging more sun damage because every time you let your face out in the sun, you are accumulating more age spots. And what's the point of fighting them and putting money into a skincare routine and putting money into in-office treatments if you're then going to just go out and do the thing that gave you those spots that you're trying to get rid of in the first place. So sunscreen all day, every day is really important. I always talk about my favorite sunscreen, so here we go again really briefly. My all-time favorite is Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. This is an all-mineral tinted sunscreen, and as soon as I'm finished shooting this video, I'm going to run to my bathroom and put this on my face. Um, now the thing with sunscreen is you have to use a lot of it in order to get the SPF number on the label. You have to use about a quarter of a teaspoon for your face and your neck. This one is good for all skin types, but particularly for drier skin. Another fave is the MyShell Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50. If you've never liked a sunscreen because it was too thick, made you feel hot, too goopy on your skin, give this one a try. It is so lightweight and fluid. It feels like nothing on your skin. You put it on, it dries instantly. This one is more for people with normal to oily skin. And then another one that I've loved for a long time is the Australian Gold Botanical SPF 50. This one is a lot 
lot thicker, a lot heavier, also can be drying to the skin. So definitely for people with more oily skin. So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.